Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the first topic in the second quarter of general mathematics, which is the simple interest. By the way guys, meron na akong dati pang video nito in which if you want to watch that video, ilalagay ko sa ating description box at dito. So, uh, bakit ko kailangang mag-re-upload? Kasi I want to improve or to rebound that topic na kung saan para mas maintindihan nyo lalo yung discussion natin about the simple interest. By the way, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe para lagi kang updated sa ating latest uploads. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the simple definition of simple interest. We have simple interest is the interest that is computed on the principal. So later on, I will give you a background about the word principal. The interest remains constant throughout the term. So we have here, uh, we have the formula for the simple interest, which is I sub S, which is the symbol for the simple interest is equal to P, R, T. And ang ibig sabihin nito, your I sub S is the simple interest, your P is the principal, the amount invested, the borrowed or the present value, or in other words, in Tagalog, that is the puhunan. Okay? Yun yung puhunan na ipinautang, pinahiram, or ginamit, or pinahiram ng lender, okay, ng ginamit ang borrower. Next, R. R in the simple interest formula, simple interest rate, ito yung rate natin. We're in later on, we will discover how to use the R. And time, time or terms in years. So yung time natin when it comes to simple interest ay based sa years na meron tayo. So another thing na kailangan nyo matutunan is yung tinatawag natin for maturity or future value. So, ano pong ibig sabihin ng maturity or future value? Ito na yung value ng pera. Let's say, for example, nagpahiram ako as a lender or nagpapautang. Pinahiram ko yung pera ko sa isang tao. Then, after a certain time of our agreement, magkakaroon siya ng interest, which is yung simple interest. Magkakaroon ngayon ng addition. Or, madadagdagay yung pera ko, yung principal, yung puhunan ko, at yung interest ng pinautang ko, which is the future value. And the formula for that is F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Or, para mas, mas madaling maging formula natin, maturity value or future value is equal to yung puhunan, which is the principal, plus the simple interest. So, let's have this activity para mas intindihan nyo. So, I have your table, and later on, sa so next part of our video, I hope na tapusin nyo yung video natin, ha? Uh, we will compute examples or word problems with regard to the simple interest. But first, practice muna tayo dito. Sabi dito, complete the table. We have here the different columns, which is the first column serves as your principal. Second column is for the rate, time, interest, and maturity value. So, complete natin to. Now, sir, how are we going to complete that table? First, let's move with the first given example. The principal here is 45,000 pesos. Yung rate natin is 2% per year, per year to ah, and then yung time natin is 2.5 years. Yung interest, at yung inalap natin, we will solve for the interest and the maturity value. Sir, how are we going to solve this case? Siyempre, unahin natin yung interest. So dito, we have the formula. I sub S is equal to P R T. Para masolve natin yung first row. And by the way, guys, syempre, para hindi kayo may you need to use your calculator. Ako, I'll be using my iPad kasi meron ako dito uh, installed scientific calculator para mas madali yung computation natin. Now, for, for this column, um, yung principal natin, your P is equal to 45,000. Dito naman na. Your P is equal to 45,000. So, lagyan natin dito, I as a simple interest is equal to 45,000 pesos times diba times R natin yan. Para sa R natin or yung rate natin since this one is um, 2% 
we need to convert this 2% into decimal. So, yung 2% natin is equivalent to 0 0.02. So, paano pa naging 0 0.02? Ano lang siya? You can divide 2 by 100 or if meron kang 2%, nandito yung decimal mo, mag-move ka lang ng 2, de 2 decimal places papunta sa left para makuha yung decimal equivalence niya. So, 1 and 2. So, we have 0 0.02. 0.02. So, ang rate natin dito is 0 0.02. And another, ay yung ating time, which is 2.5. So, ang time natin is 2.5 years. So, lagay mo dito times 2.5. So, what you will do to get the simple interest, this is for number 1, and number 1, 2, 3. To get your simple interest, what you will do, is you will add, uh, you will multiply this. You have the 45,000. Dami ka yung calculator niya. 45,000 times 0 0.02 times 2.5. So, nakuha natin ngayon ay 225 pe 200, uh, 2,250 pesos. So, our simple interest here is... 2,250 pesos. Ito ngayon yung interest natin. Sir, bakit po mas mababa compared sa 45,000? Ah, okay, magalala guys. Ito lang yung tinubo ng pera. Interest, ito yung tubo. Ito yung simple interest after magpahiram ng lender ng 45,000 for 2.5 years. So, ang sagot natin dito, our simple interest is simply 2,250 Pesos. Uh, sir, how about the maturity value? As I have said, said earlier, ang formula natin for the future value, if present naman yung simple interest sa yung principal, all you need to do is to use the formula F or future value is equal to P plus I sub S. Work in, ang gawin mo, isulot mo lang yung puhunan, which is 4, 000, uh, 45,000 pesos, Plus, yung simple interest na na-compute natin, which is 2,250 pesos. Add natin sila, plus 45,000 pesos and 2,250. That will give you the answer of future value to ah, be equal to 47,000. Fifty pesos. Ito ngayon yung future value na meron tayo. So you can write here 47,250 pesos. Ganun lang siya ka guys. I hope na nakuha niyo yung as long as alam niyo na yung pilot-ticket nitong formula. Hindi kayo mawawala. Now let's move on with item number 2. Okay? For item number 2, uh, we are given this one. Uh, blank yung principal, nawawala yung principal na meron tayo ay rate times sa yung interest so para masolve natin yung ating uh, principal ito pa rin yung gagamitin natin so pwede natin i-manipulate yung equation we're in to solve that um, ang ating formula ng gagamitin ay P is equal to interest over rate times time that is the formula for the principal Okay, so what you will do is to substitute the value. This is P is equal to your interest, which is 4,560. Guys, yung minanap natin sa number 2 ay yung puhunan. Over your rate. Your rate here is 1.2. Ibig sabihin ito, yung 1.2% natin, is equivalent to 0 0.012. Okay? Tapos, ganyan nandito, 0 0.012 times yung, yung time natin, which is 4 years. So, what you will do, ako ang gawin ko dito, if you have your scientific calculator, you can directly divide this. Guys, pero syempre, hindi naman lahat tayo may scientific calculator, what you will do is to multiply first your denominator, which is 0 0.012 times 4. 
And the answer is 0 0.048. So, meron tayo ngayon dito. Your principal is equal to S1. Okay natin yung numerator. Over 0 0.048. And what you will do is mag-solve ka ulit gamit ang yung calculator. Knowing mo, you have 4... Uh, 4,560 divided by 0 0.048 and ang lalabas dito your principal o yung puhunan ng lender is 95,000 pesos ito na yung mismo sabot natin dito sa principal so we have 95,000 pesos and meron pa tayo na mawala which is the future value Para makuha mo yung future value, kailangan gawin mo lang naman, add mo yung, yung principal which is 95,000 pesos plus yung yung interest, yung interest ng pera niya which is 4,560. So the answer is 99,000, ang future value ng pera niya after 4 years is 99,000 pesos ay 99,560 pesos. Ito na ngayon yung future value ng pera niya. 99,560 pesos. Ganun lang siya guys. So, that's it for number 2. Now, ayaw ko na kung yung solution natin guys ha. Sana hindi siya magulo para sa inyo. And let's continue with item number 3. I'll be erasing number this part. Okay. Para magkaroon tayo ng space for number 3. For number three, we are given the principal, the rate, and the maturity value. So, gabi natin dito ngayon, sir, paano na yan? Nawawala pa yung time sa interest. So, before natin solve yung time, we will get in, uh, we will solve first for the interest. Sir, paano po? Siyempre, di ba, kung para makuha natin yung uh, maturity value, we need to add the principal and the interest. And now, in reverse natin. To get the interest, we can simply we can simply subtract uh, the principal from the maturity value, and this will be the formula. If you have the interest, hanapin mo interest. Interest is equal to your future value minus the principal. So it will become it will become one hundred fourteen thousand four hundred fifty. Minus 105,000. So, gabi mo yun dito. Gamit ka ng calculator para hindi ka may hirapan. 114,450 pesos. Minus 105,000. So, ating interest dito ay the interest or the simple interest is Ito, 9,450. Ialagay ngayon natin siya dito. 9,450. And now, since meron ka ng interest ngayon, you can calculate for the time. So sir, ano pong formula para makalculate natin yung time? To solve for the, or to calculate for the time, ang formula natin is simply T, okay, time, is equal to I, simple interest, over PR. Okay? So, sir, let's try na po. As for the simple interest, ang sagot natin dito kanina is 10,450 over yung principal mo, which is ito, 105,000 times yung rate mo, which is 3%. Ang 3% in decimal form ay 0 0.03. So, your denominator is this, 0 0.03. Now, i-multiply natin yung 105,000 by 0 0.03. And this, this will give us the answer of 3,150. So, meron tayo ngayon 
um, eto, 9,450 over 3,150. Kaka-cancel natin to and we need to divide 9,450 by 3,150. And the answer here is 3. Since nakuha natin yung 3, ibig sabihin nito, 3 years. Our time here is 3. So, ang equivalent nito ay, since ang base natin ay years, so the time ay 3 years. Ito yung mismo sagot natin. Okay? So, I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung first activity natin about the simple interest on how to complete a stable. At uh, tinuro rin ito kung paano hanapin yung kapag nawala yung principal, nawala yung maturity value, nawala yung interest, nawala yung time, o yung rate. So, abangan niyo yung next part ng ating video, which is kasunod lang nito. We will try to solve one problem about simple interest. Let's have here the problem about the simple interest. We are given the problem, Rika deposited 16,000 pesos in a bank that offers a simple interest rate of 1.75%. If she plays the money for 7 years, ganun kahaba yung time, how much money will she earn? So, ang tanong dito, magkano daw yung ma-earn niya? And it talks about, ang tiyatang dito, it talks about magkano yung simple interest ng pera niya na 16,000 pesos for 7 years with the rate of 1.75%. So, basically, we will be using the formula I sub S is equal to the principal times rate times time. And syempre, ang basic dito guys, when you're doing so word problems, ilagay nyo muna yung given. At yung mga given natin, the given are yung rate natin which is 0 point, uh, 1.75% or in decimal, that is 0 0.01 5. Ito yung decimal equivalence nung ano. Again, mag-move lang kayo ng 2 decimal places sa punta sa left. And aside from that, your principal o yung puhunan niya ang deposit which is 16,000 pesos. And as for the time, basically 37 years. So what you will do is to substitute all the values here. And you have here simple interest is equal to your principal which is 16,000 pesos times your rate which is 0 0.0175 times 7. Now, syempre, gamit kayo ng calculator para mas madalang yung maging computation. We have here 16,000 times 0 0.01 75 times 7. So, ang magiging tubo niya dito for 7 years is simply your simple interest or yung simple interest na ma-earn ni Rika is 1,960 pesos. Lagyan natin dito as a formal answer. Rika earned the amount of 1,960 pesos. She invested 16,000 pesos with a rate of 1.75% for 7 years. Not bad for an investment. So, ayun nga guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to uh, know the formula and manipulate the formula and different terminologies related to simple interest as well as the ways on how to solve problem with regard to the simple interest. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Goodbye!